Hello! Today, let's make a highlighted text that is popped up for emphasis inside Premiere Pro. So, let's import something. Of course, I uh, prepared a certain certificate sample here. Then, we'll try to see in our uh, source uh, window. Put it here in our timeline. Then, place the certificate. So what we would like to do is to let this name M surname to pop up with highlights to give a certain emphasis. Now this is very useful in terms of uh, making a certain video lesson that uh, there is a certain word that you would like to emphasize then this is useful. So let's try to see how. Now since this is a certain still image, so we cannot do anything about this. Instead, we can just do some rotation, scaling, position. However, we can edit it inside Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so here we are inside Adobe Photoshop. So all we have to do is to select this name that way. Then we will copy this name and surname using this option. Layer via copy. So we now have the layer that we have copied and I want this to be highlighted to certain color say yellow okay that one is cool so that's it then we will fill this so that it looks natural then now we'll have this so basically we have two layers here then this time we will save this we will save us PSD so replace then try to see inside Premiere Pro. There it is. So, we we'll put it here. As you can see, that way. Then this time, I would like to reduce the size. So, I will have to scale this down to around 70. Then, same with the layer for the name. We have 70. So, that's it. Then, I want to rotate at around negative 5. Let's make it look natural. Make it... Uh, looks like a uh, simple document just posted here so there you go then what comes next is that we just want to pop the name the highlighted name in a certain frames say for example we have here we will pop it somewhere here so take note at the very beginning of that highlighted name so that it looks natural so at around uh, 5 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then we will change it to 100. Then, since as you can see here, the name below shown up, so we have to move the position down. And as you can see, the center is... Uh, compromise so we will move it somewhere here okay so let's try to see our first uh, animation okay that's it then we will just copy this one and put it near the end and the first one copy it at the end so that it will return back to its normal size okay that's it so you can see that's it so if you want to play somewhere here name surname that's it now another thing that is really useful today because uh, if, if you're going to make an instruction for a certain uh, explainer video or a video lesson then there are documents that we posted in a certain image format just like this one the, the ADM one so we we'll choose from here Say for example this one, then we'll open it. So now it's transparent. This one is not. So all we have to do is to add a layer, then and add a color. So we will choose this color here so that it will match the outside. Okay. So it covers because layer two is the colored one and layer one is below. So we will put it up. So you can see now. What I wanted to highlight is this part here okay so i want to select this part here the lithosphere 
and I will copy this layer via copy. Then another one I want to, to emphasize is this one. It's this one. So we will layer via copy. So now we have two. So I want this to be highlighted with a certain color that is green. Okay. So we will fill this up so that it looks uh, natural. Okay. Then the other one. Okay, the other one is this one. Layer by a copy. Okay, so copy this. Okay. Copy this. Okay, then we will then we will going to put a certain highlights. We scale it so that okay just be patient when you're going to do this this won't take you any longer so now if you can see we have highlighted the two we still have another so have a certain portion that we did not put certain color that way so okay as you can see that's it, we have three layers here, so again, we will save it as PSD. Okay, so... PSD highlighted, so PSD. Now, let's go back inside Premiere Pro. Then, we will import that. You can have a shortcut, Control i Then, here it is. Again, we will select individual layers, then it will show up here as a folder. Then we will open it, drag it to the timeline, then this one, then the other one. So as you can see, you want to read it like the little spear is said to be a constant but very slow motion. Okay, that's it. Then another thing is, let's try to see this. This movement of the little sphere is called tectonics. Okay, it seems that the timing is there. So we can again resize this. Then the little sphere is said to be in constant but very slow motion. These motion are not the same everywhere. Okay, say for example we have here. This motion is not the same everywhere. So put it there. Then this movement of the little sphere is called tectonics. Okay, we just put it somewhere there. And then, that way. So, this time, let us animate. Put it somewhere here, okay. Then, animate this. Uh, we'll toggle scale and position. Then, so let's animate this. Now, we will go to the very beginning of the clip, then we will toggle position and scale. So, we we'll scale this to around 120. Then, no, sorry. We will move the keyframe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, then again we will increase the size then okay that's it then in order for us to do the same to, to zoom in then we just copy this one and 
in the first frame that's it that's it then the other one okay so here go to the beginning of the clip then toggle position and scale then we will go at around this frame here then put it again up to 120 then we will move the position so that it can cover the original text okay just like this okay just like that then we'll put it to the end and we we'll just copy this one by clicking alt and drag it with mouse then click alt then drag it with your mouse so here we go that's it with that it is so nice when when uh, popping that the part here at the part here and this uh, portion will become blurred the entire image will become blurred let's try to do it so we we'll cut somewhere here and we will select this layer so we will add effect so we will select on the effect panel on the effect panel so we have a uh, we have blur oh we have blur so not there but typically it is already here blur camera blur so you can see camera blur so percent blur that is already here so we will at around three percent so let's see how about on this portion are we going to blur this so again if we try to blur this then we will just have to cut it here in this certain frame there then again we will cut it in the end of this uh, layer or this clip okay then cut it there then we'll apply blur again camera blur so we we'll only put it around two percent let's see that's it so when it already becomes red it needs to be rendered for a smooth playback to render this one just hit enter there you go okay so here it is Okay, that's it. Yes. So, what's lacking here is we do not have a background. So, let us find some background so that our our frame will be filled with image. So, we import a background. We will import background. Where do I have background? Somewhere here. So we will use this one. We will use this one. And you see? Oh, it's very small. I'm sorry. So we can just try to um, scale this to frame size. So that's it so still we have a certain portion here that is not filled so this will become black however that would be could be enough it's okay so in order for us to place this here uh, we have to place this you know, background below of all these clips and we cannot put it somewhere down here here because this is now for audio so all we have to do is to move this 
uh, clips up then put it here so let's drag it to match the length duration so here that's it the little sphere is said to be a constant but very slow motion these motion are not the same everywhere this movement of the little sphere is called tectonics oh fabulous thank you for watching